Hey guys, this is Logan Creed from Life in Headlock. I am your interviewer, your Mississippi madman, Logan Creed. I would like to apologize for the last two videos I put out, but I figured bad quality be nothing. Because it's been a little while since I put out Life in Headlock. So do try to check out Westbourne and Jackson Dial. The interviews are actually really good, so it sucks that the sound quality is really not that great. If you can, put on a pair of earphones, that'll help out a lot. But here's the problem. The camera come with a boom mic. The boom mic sucks. It's absolutely horrible. So there's nothing I can do. I've tried to adjust the sound. I've, there's no way around it. It just sounds like crap. But uh, what I'm going to do is get a handheld mic. Or I can be like the old Mean Gene Oakland style and go... Tell them about it, Hawk, you know, and hopefully it'll come out a whole lot better. There's no reason it shouldn't. I'm going to try to find a better boom mic. That way I have two mics, or I'm going to try the clipper mics for your shirts. So I'm going to look into those within the next week or two and get these interviews redone. I hate to redo somebody's interview that quickly, but... Because it just comes off kind of fake after you just did an interview and you don't want to get the exact same answers and it just seems like a bad story. So I'll do my best and uh, I, don't, I apologize because I was excited to get these two out there and I was like, man, these were great interviews and I knew there was background noise, but I didn't think it'd be this bad. It's pretty freaking rough. So I apologize and uh, I got some other stuff in the work. I'm working on another documentary, and it's going to kind of skip all around because it's footage I've had over the years, and uh, it's going to have a little bit of everything, from training to behind the scenes to just various stuff, man. It's just wrestling. I mean, I don't even know what I'm going to call this thing because it's not all pro wrestling ego. I'm just going to work on something about going to some other places. Besides just pro wrestling ego, but I want to get the guys that run it for mission first. I've worked with a lot of wrestlers over the years, and as of right now, I know three to four wrestlers that are running their own stuff. And uh, there's a lot of interviews I want to get, life in a headlock, but also behind the scenes stuff. I started putting up behind the scenes pictures at pro wrestling ego. And some people are like, you're breaking kayfabe. No, I always say this is before the show. This is before anybody's ever told anything. I like to get pictures and show that the guys, you know, are there, are preparing. It's just, to see the behind the scenes stuff is not giving too much. It's just giving a peek. I don't tell you nothing. I show you a picture. And I just always like to get the pictures, and I like to see people's responses to the pictures. And they're not great pictures of my crappy cell phone camera, so. But anyway, Life in a Headlock will be back up and rolling within the next few weeks. I'm going to order me another boom mic and a actual hand mic. So again, thanks for sticking in there with me. And anybody that enjoys Life in a Headlock, go check out the old ones. They're great. When I have a room... That I can dedicate just to life in a headlock. It's awesome because there's no sound, no bull crap. But when I'm at a wrestling show and my the ring's less than 40 feet away, I can't help if guys are running in there and going over their matches and stuff. It's kind of hard to do anything about the noises. And then I'm in a locker room too where other wrestlers are. So I can ask them to be quiet, but there's only so much they can do because it's they got to prepare too. So do what I can. Again, I do apologize, and I hope y'all enjoyed the Life in a Headlock interviews. Um, I'm going to talk to Stardust, or his manager, Jim, and see if maybe he can give me some advice on sound equipment. Maybe that'll help out some. So, a little advice. It's never any shame in asking for advice. Well, I've been your Mississippi Madman, Logan Creed, and I kind of rambled on a little here there. Sorry about that. But again, just wanted to let y'all know what's going on and why it's going on. So, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you at the next Life in the Headlock.